Which programming language should you learn first? Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyB.com and in this video, we're going to talk about which programming language you should focus on as your first programming language. Now I get asked this question all the time and it's a complicated question with a complicated answer, but we're going to try and break it down today and make it easier. So obviously there's no one size fits all answer for this question because everybody's different. Everybody's goals are different. Now the answer will be determined 100% by you yourself and what you're trying to do. Are you trying to find a job? Are you trying to create your own startup? Is this just a hobby? It really depends on what your goals are. And inside of that, what exactly are you trying to do? Do you wanna build websites? Do you wanna build apps? Do you wanna do data analysis? What sort of thing are you trying to do? And that's really gonna determine which programming language you wanna focus on. Now we could spend hours and hours diving into every single specific instance. You know, if you wanna build websites, you should learn this. If you wanna do apps, you should build that. But even inside of those different categories, there are subcategories. Do you want to build desktop apps? Do you want to build phone apps? Do you want to build iPad apps? All sorts of different apps you can build. Do you want to build websites? Well, do you want to do front end design work or do you want to do back end database work? You know, there's just so many answers to this that we really can't sit down and dive through each of these. Instead, I'm going to make a suggestion for everybody that's going to hold true for about 90% of you. And that's to learn one programming language from start to finish as much as you can and then go from there. And that programming language I'm gonna suggest is Python. Now Python is incredibly popular for very good reason. And it really doesn't matter what you wanna do, Python is gonna give you a fantastic fundamental basis to move on and learn other things. So if you wanna build websites, you can use Python for that in different frameworks like Django, Flask, etc. If you wanna build apps, you can use Kinter, Kivi, PyQt, all the different things like that. If you wanna do data analysis, Python is perfect for that. If you wanna get any sort of job, having Python in your resume is gonna go a long way. And one of the nice things about it, besides it being very popular, is that it's very easy to learn. And once you understand Python from start to finish and really get in there and understand it, learning other programming languages is gonna be very, very simple. So if you're just getting started, I suggest you head over to my website, codemy.com. We have over 50 courses, and we have a really great mix of programming language courses and framework courses. So if you wanna learn a programming language, we've got Python, we've got Ruby, we've got JavaScript, we've got PHP, HTML, CSS. We've also got frameworks. So if you wanna build websites, we've got Django courses, Flask courses, Ruby on Rails courses, PHP courses, all the frameworks that you want. If you wanna build apps, we've got Kinter, Kivi, PyQt courses, all the different things. So you can really sort of test out a lot of different things for one low price and get a feel of what you like and what you don't like and then go on from there. So the price of membership for all of these courses is pretty good already, but you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. That's access to all those courses. Every time I release new courses, they just show up for free. Nothing more to pay ever. It's a one-time fee. It's not monthly. It's not yearly and you get access to all the different courses and you can try out different ones to see what suits you best and move on from there. So my name is John Elder from CodeB.com and thanks for watching.